What up, YouTube? It's your boy, J2s, and welcome back to another FIFA 21 Real Madrid career mode. Guys, we've been doing a lot of great things in this career mode, in my opinion. Getting Ronaldo, getting Mbappe, getting Kimmich to the team. I think it's been going very, very well. And I know a lot of you guys might be a little bit upset of us getting rid of some of the um, fan favorites, right? Like God of Ahal. I want to get rid of Asensu. I want to get rid of, uh, you know, I got rid of Kimmich or uh, Casemiro for Kimmich. I know a lot of you guys might be upset with some of the moves that we're making, but... I I feel like, and, I, and I'll justify this throughout the episode on why I'm doing things like that, but the main thing that we need to do now before we get into this first game here, I was talking about it a little bit in the last episode, and I definitely want to, I've been thinking about it before. I think I want to go back to a 4-3-3, guys. I think it's the team is set up better for a 4-3-3. What I want to do is go with the 4-3-3 defending. Oh, no, 4-3-3 holding, excuse me. Uh, I was confusing the two. That was my fault. My bad. I think the team is set up better in a 4 uh, four through three holding because we have the players to do so. So what's going to happen is we might have to change Mbappe to a right wing, but he can play anywhere. I won't change him unless he starts getting negative numbers. I don't like to see the negative numbers. Um, so that's the reason why, again, we're going into a four, three, three, but this is also going to allow me to play uh, in the starting lineup, the players that I want uh, to start, right? The team is very, very strong for our first team, except for one position, which is the right back position. Um, and we have, Ki uh, we have, uh, I was going to say Kimmich, we have um, Nacho to take that spot. But honestly, Ether Militao, Nacho as our center backs. We got the young man for the right back, which I'm going to want him to develop. We have Odegaard. We have a big problem here at Real Madrid. And this is the reason why I'm getting rid of players to bring in other players. We have every spot taken care of, right? We have the striker. We got Jovic to cover Ronaldo. We got um, Vinicius to cover uh, the wing, right? The left wing. We have Rodrigo to cover uh, the, the right wing. We have young players that have a lot of potential to grow. Um, Odegaard as well can be the moderate for our second team or rotation player. You get what I'm saying? We have a lot of stuff, but we also have a lot of players that we have a lot of the same players over and over again, right? Lucas. We already have wingers. They have potential to grow. Like, he doesn't need to play that position. We have Asensio. Might be a fan. Frave can play left or right. But in my opinion, I feel like we like we already have those covered, right? Hazard, Rodrigo, Vinicius, Mbappe, Ronaldo. We don't need these players. Isco, again, we don't really have another cam. We have Odegaard to take his spot. But he's just getting older. Um, and it's if we can get some money from him... You know, we, we can do a little bit better here. And there's a lot of positions that we need to replace, right? Or not replace, but have backups for. And those guys that we're selling, the, the fan favorites, you know, they, they are going to give us a lot of, of money. So that way we can move things around. The main thing that we need on this squad right now, guys, and I feel like this squad is perfect. I'm not going to lie to you. I think this is probably one of the strongest teams in world football, what we've put together here. The one thing that I, that I really want to get is a right back. If I can get the right back that I want with his growth, um... I think it's going to be, it, Madrid is going to be sexy for the rest of the year. I feel like the, the league will be pretty easy. I think Champions League will be easy. The one thing that I was looking at, though, is, again, I don't have those replacements, right? I don't have the replacement. Modric, Odegaard, that's in my mind how I'm thinking it. Modric, uh, Odegaard, we have Ether Militao, uh, Nacho for our center backs. We don't have any left backs here. We don't have any left backs to replace Mendy or to be a backup for Mendy, right? Because we're going to want to rest these players uh, coming up through all these tournaments and stuff that we're going to have to deal with. So we got, got to get backups for a Kimmich. we got to get another CDM as a rotation player, as a backup player. We're going to have to get another CM, which I have one in mind already. I have players in mind who I want to go after for these positions. We are, have the right back taken care of, and then we have to get a, a rotational player for the left back. As soon as I can buy my main right back. The squad is really, really nice in my opinion, guys. You guys let me know down below what you think so far. I think this squad is hella good. Um, and we'll see what else we can do with it. The one thing that I want to do before we actually jump into this um, is I need to make another team sheet for our rotation players or our second team, basically, um, so we can start resting players and whatnot. We're going to go ahead and do this really quickly. We'll just call this second and hopefully in today's episode, we'll be able to buy the right back that we want. Also, hopefully we will be able to, all right, let's go ahead and just switch this stuff up. And again, we don't have the, the, the players to do this, right? We don't have the players um, for to, 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 to copy this. So what I want to do, or to just go ahead and do this, I want to change formations here. I think with the second team, I'm going to go with the fourth and three attacking, which honestly I shouldn't. 
Um, the main team should be an attacking team and the other one should be not be. Um, but what I think I'm going to do is go with 4th and 3 attacking just because we have the players for that, right? Um, and what's going to happen is Valverde will get... We get Odegaard in here. Uh, who else do we got that can make some type of change? Not like we're stuck, right? We're, we're literally stuck. Our center backs will come in uh, so we can rest our main ones. Right back right now is going to stay in. We don't have a left back really. So again, if I can get these players for rotation, we'll be in a good spot in my opinion. Again, doesn't mean that I have to take every player out. This is just going to be the second team set up. So it's just easier to do this and then we'll make changes like that. A sense you, I mean, he can, or excuse me, Isco can play that CM role. So if we have if we have him for right now, we can play him, okay? If we have him, we'll play him. Um, but to be 100% honest with you, I don't think I will be playing him. Do I need a backup keeper? I don't think so. I don't think we need a backup keeper, so I don't really care for that. But that being said, I definitely want to fix this a little bit more. And again, those older players or fan favorites um, will give us money. And hopefully we can get rid of these play players. Isco, Asensu um lucas hopefully we can get rid of those and bring in something else either way guys we're gonna go ahead and jump into this now i do want to be playing more games than just simming half and then playing half i don't know how i'm gonna do it yet uh you guys let me know down below how you guys want it we're gonna play with our main team here uh for this game we're gonna sim it and hopefully unless there's a problem i'm not gonna jump in hopefully sim through this because the most important part right now is building up our team making it the strongest possible during this window so and then we can win uh the stuff that we need to win here and that's that's what i'm trying to do i'm trying to win everything champions league and the league um this league shouldn't be too much of a problem to be fair by the way guys we are in the black they are in the white this league shouldn't be too big of a problem because i feel like the only teams, unless something happens during the window, the only teams that I have to really be scared of, Aleti and Barca. Besides that, it should be a cakewalk. And this is why I also want to set up a second team, right? So we can rest other players, our main squad for other uh, competitions and have our second team win us points. That's what I'm trying to do. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Hopefully it can work out. The good thing about being at Real and selling these players, we have a lot of money to play around with, which is always a good thing. Maybe a little bit too easy, honestly. Uh, but it's always a good thing to have money to play with. Um, they're doing pretty damn well right now, I would say, but hopefully, again, um, we'll see what's going to happen here. Hopefully, we can get ourselves a win. They're actually attacking the crap out of us right now. I don't like this at all. 20 minutes in, and rating-wise, or excuse me, stat-wise, we've had they've had a lot of possession. We've, we've basically done nothing against them, which is kind of disappointing. So please, game, uh, score some damn goals. Otherwise, I'm going to have to get into this and actually win which we should be winning regardless. Like, what's the deal right now? All right. Hopefully get all oh, this good passing here. Uh, good pass. Hazard scores right when I said his score. Hazard, 25% uh, possession for Real Madrid right now, guys. 25% possession. One shot, one goal. Hazard scores it here. Ronaldo needs to get involved. Ronaldo needs to get involved. And we are going to change the players' names. I know our player uh, players' numbers, guys. Uh, I said I would do that after the window closes. I know right now it's really, really weird seeing... Uh, you know 16s 34s on players we'll change all that stuff up here eventually oh we Modric with that beautiful goal there making it two uh nil here 36 minutes in that was beautiful Modric scoring some goals man and uh, like i said i was gonna get rid of Modric, but i think i'll just have Modric stay um we're not gonna get much money for him i mean 46 million is a lot but we'll let him finish off his career here i think um he's 34 years old we might have to renegotiate his contract at some point uh, but I don't think I'm going to let Mod Modric go anymore. Um, he was one that I was definitely thinking about letting go. But I think I'm going to keep him now for sure. Especially seeing the money that they were willing to pay for him. I, I want no part in that. All right, guys. We're going to make a little bit of changes here. Just because I feel like 2-0 up. We're doing pretty good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and let Jovic come on. We're also going to let the young man play. Uh, Rodrigo will play. And then, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and let Modric sit and Odegaard play. Uh, just so he gets uh, a little bit more sharpness, hopefully, and uh, gets some goal scoring. So that way he develops, right? We want these younger guys to have playing time with development so they actually develop. Um, that's what we're going to try to do here, guys. We're going to try to develop these young guys to make Real Madrid. Um, you know, they have some older players trying to get the, the young players start to growing and get Madrid uh, looking good for the future. And I think we've done that with Mbappe and Kimmich and some other players that we're going to bring in as well. And plus, you guys already had a lot of younger guys here. Either way, guys, second half here, 2-0, 55 minutes in. Not much possession here, but to be expected in a 4-3-3, they could actually score. 
You better defend this. You better defend this right now. You better defend this right now. Oh, come on. What can you guys do? It's good passing. It's really good passing. Good shot, but unable to score there. We get ourselves a corner. 70. Oh, the keeper has the same. The keeper has the same color. I was like, what the hell's going on right now? Keeper got that there, guys. 82 minutes in. Can we score one more? If I'm mistaken, 18 is Jovic. Um, can we score one more before the end of the game? And we'll see what's going to happen. They're playing the four, the 5-4-1. And Valverde scores a goal here. Um, Valverde gets himself a goal. That's always good to see. You love to see it, boys. The midfielder is getting involved, scoring some goals here. Um, 90th minute here, guys. It should be the end of the game there, and it is. We go ahead and win this game, get an easy three points here. And I, I like I said, I think the league is going to be pretty pretty easy unless you know teams do crazy stuff during the window but we're also doing some crazy stuff as well um i need to let you know what do you need to let me know bro i need to let you know that i'm reading some stuff uh people are saying lately about me and my future i just wanted to ask you um to give me another chance to prove i'm the right man i'll think about it bro i'll think about it but i i don't want you here um i can get money for you and then i can fix the team to be even better all right scouts this is what i was waiting for here guys this is what I was waiting for. This is the right back I want to go after. Um, 46 on the release clause. And to be fair, at 22 years old. At 22 years old. I don't know what that means. What is that? Updated? Oh, it just means updated. At 22 years old. Um, his release clause is 46. I want him. I, I would pay off his release clause. I'm not. I'm like, I would just buy him. I think he has a lot of potential. Um... Let's let's go into the transfer hub. Delete this message. I, this is the player that I want. Um, I don't like his work rates if it's the same as Ultimate Team, but we can fix that in development, which is fantastic. It's actually really, really cool. Um, so that's who I want. 80 right now. I know he's still low. We got rid of God Rahal, but he had he's young. He's young. Why would I? Does he not? It just said that he had a release clause. Now he doesn't have a release clause? Oh, they renegotiated him. So they're saying about 56. 22 years old, can play right back, center back, also right wing back. All right? I feel like I want to buy him. I, I'm willing to pay 60 mil for him. I really am. I think he has potential. I think he'll grow very, very fast here. He'll be starting every single game. I think he'll do well. I know he's a low rated, but at 22 years old, we can make him grow like crazy. Um, you know, and, and we've done that in previous his, in previous um, career or in the previous career mode with a lot of the players that we got. I want to add a release clause of about uh, 12%. I also want to offer, I'm going to offer 50 and just see what they say. Let's offer 52. 52, I feel like it's a pretty 53, 54. 54 million for him with the 12%. Just see what they say. Hopefully they don't back out of this. Maybe I'm going too low. 54 with 12%, I feel like it's a really, really good deal. We'll have to see what they say. Um, you want Sergio Ramos? Are you on, are, like, are you on some good stuff? Propose a new fee. Let's just do 60 and see what they say. There's no way in hell. There's no way in hell I'm giving, like, there's no way. There's absolutely no way in hell that I'm giving away Sergio Ramos. Are they on some good stuff? Oh, maybe I pay too much. I just thought they would walk away from the table. Is 60 mil too much? Like, I don't know. He's young. We have him to play multiple positions. I like having players that can play multiple positions. Let's negotiate this, which is, uh, maybe did I pay too much? I don't know. But with selling Carvajal, we ended up getting uh, Mukiel, and we also got uh, Kimmich. You know what I'm saying? So, in my opinion, worth um again not as good as god of a how but we'll grow there right rotation player except that you're going to be starting bro you're going to be fine um which will keep him happy let's do four years 
Let's continue. Um, disregard release clause. Uh, wages. Let's do. Let's give him a hundred. Feel like a hundred is is probably. Actually, let's do eighty-five. Just see what they say. Eighty-five. Eighty-five thousand, and then with a million bonus. Just see what they say. I don't want him to walk away, which would suck really bad if he did. 99. Okay, let me counter this and then remove the bonus and then submit. And there it is. So 99 with the mill bonus. I think that's a good deal here, guys. Um, why does he have the Roma badge when he was at Leipzig? I'm super confused. I'm super confused legit confused right now i'm not gonna lie to you um all right guys so we now have we now have the man that i wanted um I, like i am very very happy with this i think he's gonna be great here i want to go to the squad how do i get to i need to get to squad and i need to get to his development because he's gonna be our starter from now on um and again, him being rotation player is going to keep him very, very happy. Development plan. There's one thing that I dislike about him, um, and it's his work rates. Uh, defensively, he's only a medium. He's actually a high medium, where in FIFA, he's a medium medium. I want to change this. Uh, I want to make sure six weeks for that. We're definitely going to work on that. That's going to take six weeks, six weeks, six weeks. That's going to take 19 weeks, which I definitely want to go to balance. But before that, I want to make sure that we fix his um, medium high. I wish I could make him. I wish I could make him a medium, a medium attacking high defensive player. But right now he's medium defense player and I need him to be. I legit need him to be a high. I need him to come back uh, on defense. So. We're going to do that. It'll take six weeks. Once those six weeks are up, then we'll go probably back to balance or maybe work on his weak foot and things like that. Okay. So very happy with this here, guys. Great move. In my opinion, we still have some money and again, things to still sell. And we still, let me see how much money we still have. We have about 16 mil still without other players selling. So hopefully that will still happen. Let's go to the squad here, guys, because this is going to change, at least for our main squad. Our main squad now 100% is going to be him as our starter. Um, that's our guy, okay? That is our guy from now on uh, as our, our our main, that's our main team. That Like literally, I don't want to do anything else to the main team. I definitely want to work on backups for these players. Uh, we probably still need to get a left back. Don't know who I get for a left back. I wonder, I wonder if I could still get Preda. I wonder if Preda could play both sides, right or left. But he's probably going to cost us money. That being said, guys, let me go ahead and fix uh, some of this here um, because we need to add some players onto this for sure. Let me fix this stuff real quick and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I've gone ahead and fixed some of this stuff up here for their sharpness and fitness. Uh, I wanted to get more of the bench and reserve players on here. We're going to go ahead and submit this to keep their sharpness up. We should be fine. All right. That's now done. Now we're going to go ahead and sim through this. Hopefully we get some more offers of some of these players. So we see um, showed interest in Hugo for a one year deal. I'm okay with this. Yeah, I'm okay with loaning him, except he's not going to play for us. So might as well get him off the roster. Um, you know what I mean? And then it's been brought to my attention that Spurs are going after Goretzka. The player that I did want, but I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm okay with the team the way it is right now. All right, so that's done. Let's keep simming. Uh, it's almost here. Transfer day is almost here. Why do I keep clicking into this? Just go ahead and sim. Everything else is already fine. Transfer day is almost here, like the deadline day, and we have a lot to still do. We do have a game coming up. We do have a game coming up, and it looks like our scouts are out, and no one's actually going after our players, which is a little disappointing. I'm actually a little upset. I'm upset, guys. I am upset that we haven't got um that we haven't got any more offers, honestly, on 
Isco, and the rest of the boys that I want to get rid of, which kind of sucks um, to be 100 with you. I'm kind of disappointed here. Um, let me go to the hub real quick and just make sure that I still have them up for sale. Um, because I definitely want these players to go. Isco? No, he's still there. I just want to make sure they're there because I don't think we've gotten any. Nope. And I rejected that, that deal as well because there was like a swap deal. And then the other one is... Who else did I want to get rid of? I want to go ahead and add to the list as well. I uh, want him gone because we already have players that can play striker. We have multiple players that we can do that position, right? So that is the, and Lucas should still be on here as well. Hopefully we can get rid of those guys and bring in some other players with 16 mil. There's not much we can do, but hopefully. Guys, we're going to go ahead and jump into this. Um, and I think I'm going to play this game, uh, honestly, because I definitely want to try out uh, the young men that we just purchased. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. All right, guys, here it is. Uh, our main squad now. Our main squad hopefully is going to be good for us. Um, you know, Hazard, like a team is really, really good. I feel like I feel like our team is strong everywhere. Um, again, the lowest rated player, I think, on the team is our right back right now. But I think he will grow very, very fast. Um, I think he will grow very, very fast. And I hope that's going to be the, the what's going to happen here. And I think... With that being said, hopefully we can get him to like 84 before the end of the season. We'll have to see. And then hopefully I can get like Valvetta to an 86 or so before the end of the season as well. But there's still money to be made. And there's still players that we still have on the bench that we could play. If if Isco doesn't, or excuse me, if, if uh, yeah, if Isco doesn't doesn't go, we can definitely fit him into the squad. Uh, Asensio as well. And also Lucas, not really, but we'll see what we're going to have to do. Let's see if we can get a couple of goals here, guys. Um, come on, baby. Hazard with it. Hazard feels really good. I don't like the way that kit looks, to be fair. The green one, it kind of blends into the grass. I don't like it. Hazard. Takes the shot. Bangs, boys. Good stuff. Started with Ronaldo and then finishes with Hazard there. Good passing there. Beautifully done there. Um, I think that was into Valverde and then Valverde into... Uh, into Hazard to get our first goal here of the game. Uh, it took us a long time, man. We were pinned in for quite a bit, but uh, uh, deserved goal there. Good buildup from our from our side, and hopefully uh, get a couple more goals here. Well done there from Ramos. Keep putting on the pressure. Into Valverde. He got space, and bang, dude. Valverde gets himself a goal here as well. Uh, everybody scoring except for Ronaldo and Mbappe. <laughs> everybody else. It's scoring except for Ronaldo and Mbappe. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on, boys. I believe. Ooh! What a freaking run from Hazard. Oh, my God. What a run from Hazard. That was actually beautiful. The play starts with Ronaldo into Modric, and then Mar Hazard making that run in. That was very, very nice from him. That was actually brilliant. Ugh! What do you mean? What happened? What the hell's going on? It's taking him forever. Like it just like it froze him running around. Let's go. Ronaldo gets himself a goal here as well. Um, good little passing there. I was trying to get that ball to cross it in from Mbappe, but Mbappe, I don't know how I feel about him out there. I think he'd be better for me on the left, to be fair. Um but good stuff there. Hazard getting an assist there as well. Hazard's probably the man of the match at this point. He's done so much. Ronaldo, uh, assists of assists have been doing well, holding up play and finding those passes. Uh, but to be fair, Hazard has done his thing there in this game. Yes, 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 yes. Big bodied right back doing his job before the half here, guys. And I'm really, really liking the moves we made. Team is playing incredibly well. The, I, I'm a little, I'm a little torn. Like I want Mbappe to score, I want Ronaldo to score, I want Hazard involved, I want Modric involved. I want everybody to get goals. Um, at the end of the day, all that really matters, honestly, is that we win. We're gonna continue playing here, guys. Um, four nil. We're dominating right now. I think we put a uh, for this league, honestly. Uh, I, I think this team is just too big. This team is just too big, and I still want to make a couple more big moves uh, before, and big moves for our bench is what I want to do before the actual uh, season is over. Ronaldo, uh, trying to get in. 
Ronaldo's in. Ronaldo's in. Ronaldo's in. And he finishes, boys. 5-0. Ronaldo with two. Let's go. Real, baby. Let's go. Real, baby. Hey, boys. Ronaldo doing his thing. Woo. Easy peasy. That's what you like to see, boys. That's what you like to see. Oh, wow. I shouldn't have went in for the tackle there with Sergio Ramos. It was really stupid of me. Took him out of position. Gave him the goal here. 5-1. I can't believe we didn't keep a clean sheet. But that was 100% my fault in defending, dude. Oh, man. That was bad. 80th minute here, guys. Can we somehow get another? Can we get Mbappe on the score sheet? That would be nice. All right, guys. So that's going to be the game here. 5-1. I uh, should have kept the clean sheet. Honestly, that was on me. 100%. But... It is what it is. We still get the win. That's all that matters at the end of the day is that we get the win. And there it is, guys. We end up winning uh, another three points for us, honestly. So we'll see if maybe, just a maybe, maybe, maybe we can make some moves here. Oh, did I go into the postmaster stuff? Let's see what happens here uh, with the post. I can't hear anything. Uh, the headliners after tomorrow will say that Hazard had a stunning performance with his two goals, which sealed the victory. Um... Uh, he kept a good team display. That's exactly what we're going to put here. He did really good, of course. Has his performance. Uh, and his goals were uh, were what caught eyes. I didn't read it because I got like, the, it blended in. It blended in. They should have used different colors here. All right, the performance of the fan. Okay. Uh, what an outstanding performance. Uh, what made the difference? The players worked really hard in training this week. Uh, we have built a solid foundation. That's exactly right a solid foundation is what we're building here this is what it's all about start slow but ended winning what are you talking about start slow we had uh we had it waiting for the chances to come yeah yeah, yeah whatever dude uh i don't care like you're lying you, you didn't watch the same game i watched what i watched was me smashing everything i don't know what you're talking about game i know what i'm talking about okay all right i know what i'm talking about guys we you are glad that you're me mean, same uh, looking for options. Yeah, 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 bro. Like, I don't want to play you. All right, guys. This is it. Um, the loan worked here. And then we have a loan. We have a loan on him. We'll accept the loan. We'll let him. How old is he? 27. We'll, we'll let him go. Except, um, get him off of this and, and just let the loan go. I'm not going to play him, so there's no point in having him. We are going to sim. Hopefully, we get something. Oh, we get one on a sense you transfer. Let's go. Um... Aleti, oh, Aleti want him. I don't know if I want him to go to Aleti, but let's see what they say here, guys. 52. All right, so they're offering 58. 24 years old. He's still young, to be fair. We could keep him here at 24 years old and have growth. The problem is if he was like at 83, 84 at 24 years old, I would say, okay, let's keep him. But what we're going to do is delegate this, and we're not going to let him go for anything less than five, uh, five, 59,500 and then um apply this and then we're not gonna let him go for anything less than 75 like if they give us that then they can have him if not we'll let him go somewhere else for cheaper or for that same price but i'd like for aletti i want to i want to take the money from them screw that um <laughs> so we'll see what happens here guys uh said to you having that money come in is going to be really really big we literally have this day and that's it and it's now the transfer window it's here we have 10 hours in game to make all the moves that i want to make guys let me know down below who we should go after and hopefully we can make things hap happen hopefully that sense money comes in and i can buy the players that i need in certain roles either way hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode if you did please drop a like if you're new to the channel and you enjoy video make sure to subscribe with notification on and as always guys thank you guys so much for all the support and i will see you guys in the next one deuces baby